Yo, 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 we had a little roll reversal there. You see that? You dig? You dig? Dang, I'm gonna get that down. Yeah. So, back with another That's Another Story podcast. Milo with Lang Long. What's yeah, up, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. What the motherfucking deal is, you know what I'm saying? This motherfucking lay long banging on your eardrums and hopefully one day here real soon, <laughs> your motherfucking eyeballs, you dig? Yeah. Don't bring your girl around because <laughs> he might. Uh, nah, we man, might. your girl good, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like R. Kelly or nothing and shit. No, not those kind of girls. I'm talking about their woman, bro. Their spouse, bro. Yeah. Oh, My mind's telling me shit. no. I, I was talking about the, their, their spouses too. I, but then I, did, I didn't think about it. Damn, that was a good one and shit. Yeah. <laughs> My mind's they, telling they me girls. no. You know what I'm saying? Like, they little girls. They 12-year-old no. or 13-year-old. 13 year old play nah, girls. Bro. 12 play girls, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, uh, like he got a song talking about don't bring a, don't bring your girl around me because I'm a flirt. You know what I mean? Oh my I'm god. Okay, yeah. well, have we done, okay, we're going to talk about R. Kelly in another episode. That's yeah, a- man, we already did this <laughs> shit. But, uh, I'm just saying, man. Okay, so, no, no. Here's the title of this story is like annoying. Bosses, you know, and like he's not, and my boss, where I'm bitch working, ass motherfucker, sit your ass down before I choke the shit out your motherfucking ass. And I get it, like a lot of people are type A, some people are type A when they're real aggressive. They want, they, they, and I'm like, and he's the kind of people, he's the kind of person I am, not just in work, but in all aspects of my life. I'm coachable, I take criticism well, and I get along with others, right? Well, that's a fucking great, uh, but some sometimes all three of those are get tested. Sometimes I fail on some days. You know what I mean? For a uh, 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 interview or something. But go ahead. Yeah, y- y'all can take that next question. Mm-hmm. And uh, seriously, remember the three things are: I'm coachable, I take criticism well, and I work well with others. You know. Write that shit down. Write that motherfucking shit down. That should be on a t-shirt. Boom. That's our idea. Y'all can't take it. And. Uh, <laughs> So write that shit down. Start that shit. Down. <laughs> that you can't take it. Write that shit down. Yeah. So fuckers. Like so. Yeah, last week, the owner and my person above me. Right. We're yeah. gonna call him. We're gonna call him. Uh, assist. Uh, we're gonna call him just uh, my boss. Okay. Yeah. And my boss was there. And with the owner of the store. The owner is, and like, I just told him, I was like, all right, I'm about to go clean those bikes. And like, I had a thought for like 10, 15, 20 seconds. And in there, I was just thinking about, okay, after I clean the bikes, I gotta go do that, do that, do that, do that, all right? I was actively thinking in my mind. But I was just standing there, right? And the yeah. owner was there, and like, my boss was there. And then my boss was like, hey, Milo, go clean the, uh, go clean the, go clean the room, okay? I'm like, bro, you need to calm the fuck down. <laughs> like, don't talk to me in that fucking tone. <laughs> like, <laughs> but like, also, I believe like you have purposeful death. Another good quality to have is purposeful deathness. But so I just ignore that. I'm like, whatever. I'll, I won't cause a scene. Don't take things too personally. No, right? you fuck. You know, watch how you talk to me. You tell them motherfucker this shit because they gonna keep it up if you don't. You know, check that shit. Yeah, but so I I give him a reason not to talk to me that way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because from his point of view, I was just standing there for 20 seconds. But at the same time, I was just standing there for 20 seconds. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> but whatever, you know. And uh, then this morning, the night before, I talked to a text of the owner saying, Hey, can I, uh, can I come in early? Because I know it's Monday. And, uh, and uh let me, and we have two classes to prepare for. Let me just get in earlier. And I can do the work. And if and I don't mind clocking in later. I don't mind doing 30 minutes of work and not getting paid for that. You know, I just don't mind it. Because it's I have a better work day and a better start of my day if we have a good work day. You know what I mean? Yeah, being ahead of the game. Being ahead of the game. And they don't have to pay me for it. I'm just being clear for it. They don't have to pay me for 30 minutes of time. And it's yeah, not a big deal. That's stupid ass because that shit adds up. It comes like five hours a week. Two and a half, but okay. Yeah, that's what I said. Two and a half hours a week is shit. Yeah. That you're fucking throwing away. 
And Which I, was, I guess I was thinking like, you know, over the span of a month, which would, you know, make that <laughs> like uh, $10 a sheet. Yeah, something like that. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, and like, they say, no, don't do that. And all of a sudden, I get a text message from my boss, like, hey, don't text the owner this. If you have any concerns, why don't just text me, okay? I'm like, I'm like, bro, I'm like, like in my mind... He thinks I'm going over his head, whatever, whatever. And I'm not because I texted the owner before I texted my boss because the owner for this kind of information, she, the, bo- the owner would know, like payroll and um, the alarm situation. Yeah. And he, the owner didn't respond, so I texted my boss. My boss gave me some uh, tips on what to do. Then the owner finally responded to my original question because she she only he only the bot the owner only responded to uh, only one of my two concerns. So I thought the owner uh, just ignored the the other concern, texted my boss that concern. He the boss told me what to do. And uh, my original plan was to just wait you know get there thirty minutes early. Call them, say, hey, can I just go in and just start, whatever. I shouldn't have even done what I did last night. I should have just asked for permission at, right before work. You know? Yeah. So, my boss walks in there. You know, he starts telling me, hey, do this, do that. And I was already doing it. So... And, and hold on, hold on. The boss... Is... Okay. No, that's that's the owner. But we don't talk about that on this, okay? That's one of those unmentionables. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, yeah. and uh, so, you know, and I started, uh, and he starts being really passive. So this is the manager. Yeah, pretty much. Supervisor. And supervisor, boss, whatever. And, um, and I'm like, man, like, He's mad that I'm not doing the stuff that he wants me to do when he wants me to do it. You know what I mean? It all gets done. Just give me plus or three, four or five minutes later. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, and it eventually gets done, right? Yeah. And uh, (laughs) he said to me something today that was so funny. It was just like (laughs) we were. He was talking back to me. And he's just like he said, like, oh man, I might, I might need to leave early. And I told him, I was like, hey man, if you need to leave early, man, I, you can trust me on the store. And you know what he said? You know what he said to me? That really pissed me off. So, like, oh, can I? And I'm like, uh, yeah, you can. And he was like, I don't know, can I? I was just like, I was like, yeah, man, like you can't. But in my mind, bro, I'm like, bro, you need to calm the fuck down. Like I'm about to, like, I know you're like, you Talk know. To him about it, shit. And I told them, I'm like, man, yeah. Man, I was like, yeah, man, like, you can. Like, what's what's going on? Like, I feel like you don't, you know, you don't like my work. And he's like, oh, last time I was here, I had to do, uh, I had to stay two hours. And I'm like, well, I told him, like, well, I just cleaned the bikes the way the owner told me to clean the bikes, and you told me to leave. He's like, yeah, I did. And I'm like, so if I, ha- if, so if there was a problem, how come you just didn't uh, tell me right then and there? It's like, he's like, I don't appreciate this back and forth. I'm like, I'm not trying to be back and forth with you. I'm just trying to be honest with what happened. Like, I don't, if you think, if you tell me he's to do this. Asshole. Certain, he's I'm already getting pissed off listening to this shit. And I'm like, in my mind, I told him like, hey, like, if you think I need to do it a certain way, you need to tell me because I had no idea that that was a problem. You never told me it was a problem. And that, and I also told him like, hey, I remember when you were complaining about that, you blamed it on the cleaning crew, not, not on me. And I'm like, he's like, hey, I don't appreciate this back and forth. And I'm like, yo, man, I'm not, that's not my intention. And he's like, I don't appreciate this back and forth. I was like, yo, man, you need to tell me what I need to do, because I don't want there, I don't want you to think I'm going over you. I don't want there to be any confrontation. I think we got off on the wrong foot. You know, what's the what's the problem? Tell me how you want me to do it, and let me try to do it your way. You know, I was just I was just being man about it. I didn't want any confrontation. Cause bro, you know this is I don't want no drama. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. 
But I'm not gonna be a push. I feel that shit. But I'm not gonna be a pushover. No, you push they motherfucking ass over. You know what I'm saying? Beat his ass. You know what I'm saying? Push him into the fucking uh, bikes and shit. Watch him. Domino effect, knock them all over and shit, you know what I'm Shut saying? Up. And, and, and be like, no. let's burn this motherfucker down, Pookie! No, no, no. <laughs> no, but he's a good guy. He's a good guy. I, he has a lot of pressure on him. I get it. You know, you know, he's got, you know, I get it, man. Like, like I said, I don't take things personally. And I, but I will stand up for myself. I'm like, hey, you know, like, I think I'm not doing what you think I'm doing. I'm not talking back to you. I'm just standing up for myself and telling you what happened. And I'm not blaming you. I'm not blaming myself. I'm not excusing it. I'm literally telling you, hey, I want to learn how you want me to do it. But last time, there wasn't a problem. You didn't tell me you wanted it a certain way. You literally told me to leave. You didn't tell me to leave and discuss. You told me, it's like, no, man, just go home. That's what, literally what you did. And then he, when I pointed that out, that's when he said, <laughs> he said, hey, I don't appreciate this back and forth. I'm like, what? Like... <laughs> But he let me the store, or uh, he let he left me the close the store because he didn't feel well. I said, "Yeah, man, go home. Don't worry about it. I got the store." And I uh, closed for the first time, and I sent him the video of everything I did, showed him everything, and I hopefully uh, he's gonna go check it in fifteen twenty minutes. So and I texted him, say, "Hey, when you get there this afternoon, let me know what you think immediately." You know, because I told him and I texted him the same thing. It's like, hey, I take criticism well, I work well with others. Uh, you're not going to hurt my feelings. I am coachable. It's better if, if we're all on the same page. You know, get some sleep. We're all in the same game. You know what I mean? I texted him that. You know, I'm not being confrontational. You understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah. So. Sounds like he's a little bitch. <laughs> no. Woman come whoop his motherfucking ass <laughs> Stop. and shit. I want no confrontation, man. Okay. He's a good cat. He is. He honestly, God, he is. Maybe at his previous job, he had a previous, he had a bad experience with other employees, and he's taking that on me. I get that. You know. But it's gonna be a time and place. I'm like, yo, man, I need you to like. I'm gonna talk to you. Like, yo, man, is everything okay, man? Like, I need you to calm down. And I've already played that image in my head. Image in my head. It's like, say, yo, man, is there a problem? And it's like, yeah, man, you're not taking your job seriously. I'm like, yo, man, it's just like, I take my job seriously, I do good work. But yeah, this job ain't my life, you know? And like, and I'm trying to do other things with here. I'm just doing this for some extra money. And I like fitness, I like health. And like, I like my coworkers. I like the people that come here. I like the small talk. You know, I like having a little something to do for two, three hours in the morning. Something that forces me to get up early in the morning. Yeah. You know, shit like that. And I'm, I hope he understands. But if he gets on me for some little shit, I'm gonna like, ignore that. Because I understand that. What are you doing, girl? <laughs> what are you doing? You know what I'm doing? I'm fucking this couch up. Shit. What are you doing, Groovy? God damn, I got. Okay, so, yeah. That's my boss story, and like, but my employees are cool though. I like my fellow employees, my fellow coworkers. Hey, stop that! Plunky, why you tearing shit up? Damn! Hey, hey, hey! That's you you're getting that on camera, or you're recording such. No, I'm just popping my hand. A, a chest. Oh, okay. Well, well then, yeah, yeah. That was good acting. What we just did, huh? <laughs> and bitches. Okay, okay, okay. So what's your horrible boss story, man? Man, it's like this for me, this shit. Uh, I, I, I'm a big black man, you know? You're the big one. <laughs> and a lot of motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? I think I already said this on another episode of shit. That, you know, when motherfucker first meet me and shit, they they be like, oh, scared and, Abby. you know what I'm saying, full of respect and all that there shit. Then they find out, you know what I mean, I'm really cool. That, well, they, they, they all scared, full of respect because shit, 
they probably feel like I'm gonna mash on they bitch ass and shit. You know what I mean? Cause you know I mean? I'm a big black man. You big know what I'm saying? Man. Like from the Green Mile. It's scary as shit. Take, like, my but, hand, but, Take, from, Take my hand, Lang. Take it. Take my hand, Lang. Take it. Take it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. My seafood be telling me. He said, "Yeah, man. You think he's a big black man?" <laughs> he, he said, "You think you small, man, and whatever is shit. You know, in your in your mind, you think you just kind of like, you know, your personality. You're just a cool motherfucker, but you know what I'm saying. But you don't understand that you big, big. and you ominous, man. And you, uh, what did he say? This shit, forming and shit, some shit, formidable." But, uh, yeah, so once a motherfucker, you know, in that position that he just got through speaking about, see, I'm so familiar with that, and I can't deal. This is exactly why he, right now, he's trying to get me to get a motherfucking job. Everybody trying to get me to get a job, you know, but I can't do it because of that motherfucker he just got through talking about, you know what I mean? Talking that crazy shit to me, you know what I'm saying? Having, Personal uh, deafness, bro, that's what you need. What is it that shit called, uh... You know, ego, you know, ego problems and shit, thinking that they the motherfucking boss or the man is because they, you know, in a, in a position a little the higher. They're, the boss. <laughs> they're not even the boss, they're just manager and shit. The boss is the motherfucker that own that place. Shit. But, um, yeah, man, so... The last job I was on, you know what I'm saying, I was working for a very, uh... Reputable paint company. You know, it was a father and son jump off, and man, you know, these dudes did a good job of what they did, man, but I just didn't appreciate how the fuck they talked to me. You understand? And, uh, you know what I'm saying? I got a real thick skin, you know what I mean? I could take in a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. It's just like this and shit, you know. A lot of you motherfuckers might be too young to to understand or remember this shit right here, but um, you know what I'm saying? That was a cartoon called The Road Runner. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and then he he either Wiley Coyote or what? Yeah, Wiley Coyote would always try to you know he would always try to get the Road Runner and shit. He was always trying to set traps and shit to catch the Road Runner, but the Road Runner was too motherfucking clever for that bullshit. You dig? So uh. <laughs> Um, you know what I'm saying? The, the point is, is that sometimes the Wiley the Coyote would get like big old pieces of rock on a on a spring and shit, and then he would, you know what I'm saying? Put a whole bunch of other fucking rocks and shit, like boulders, on the big ass rock that was on the spring to weigh that bitch down. You know what I'm saying? So I said all that to say this is that you know I'm that motherfucking contraption and shit. You know, I'm a big ass motherfucking platform with a huge spring underneath, you know what I'm saying? With a big ol' <laughs> And you can pile shit on 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 and you can pile shit on. And you can pile shit on. And I was, you, you, you pile that shit on, though. My, be mindful that that motherfucking spring is retracting and shit. Or, or the camel breaks Boiling. Enough. You know what I mean? So, it's going to get to a point where that motherfucker is not going to be able to stay down no more. And what's going to happen then? The shit going to blow the fuck up. So that's why I can't work for nobody, you know what I'm saying? Cause what happens with under what you know what I'm saying, what happens to pipes under motherfucker pressure? Huh? Huh? What happens? Them bitches burst. You hear me? And I ain't got time to be spending my fucking life, you know what I'm saying, or one life sentence, two life sentence, three life sentence, four life sentence. However you many, get to that point, though? however many motherfucking life sentences for fucking beating the motherfucker's ass and wait, shit. Wait. I mean, let me. Blah, 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 blah. I don't need three or four or five motherfucking life sentences for bog walling the motherfucker's ass and shit. <laughs> yeah. Next question. So why, you think it will really get to that point? Is really that bad for you to work with somebody? Yeah, yeah. Dude. 
That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Because of that shit you just got through talking about. You find it everywhere you go. But see, now, so I, I, yeah, I, I'll but give you an no, example. I don't, I don't like get it get I to could, me. I could go into that same job to that dude right there. And <laughs> when, when he first meet me, he'd be like, hey, and, you know, and if I, like, by the end of the week and shit, he'll fucking figure out that I'm a cool motherfucker and shit. And that's when he start taking advantage and talking to me like he talked to you and shit. Well, you're like, hey, motherfucker, watch how you talk. Calm that shit down, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, but, hell, but I even send my boss, like, hey, I even send my boss videos of, of the end product. I show him, like, you know, I show him evidence I'm doing this shit. Already. No, I don't like... I'm giving him every reason not to... You know, talk to me that way. But if he still talks to me that way, and I am doing good work, I'm like, yo, bro, I need you to calm the fuck down. Like, <laughs> yeah, calm the fuck down. Before I catch a murder case around this bitch. No, stop. No one's gonna murder nobody. I'm a, I'm a murder of motherfucking shit. No, you won't. I wouldn't let you. Uh, okay. You have to get through. You gotta get through me to get to the guy. I'm not, you can't get through me, bro. You know, nice question. Shit, man. Yeah. So, Lang, are we done today of this podcast or what? Uh, yeah, I can't fucking get into my fucking Facebook this shit. Man, I, I'm so glad I don't have Facebook, bro. Yeah. Alright, guys, we're out. Yeah, we out. Oops.